Hi guys, feel free to like and subscribe if you're getting something out of this content. And if you're interested in private coaching, go to www.coachcat with a K dot O-R-G. Um, in this video, what I'm gonna talk about is how to stand up for yourself, how to be assertive, and how to start setting some boundaries. If you happen to be a people pleaser or somebody who tends to be more codependent, um, or a lot of times an empath codependent, it may be difficult for you to um, not want to rock the boat or to you know be assertive or to set boundaries or to stand up for yourself. And I'm just gonna give you a quick video on some techniques that might help. Um, first of all, when someone attacks you or you feel attacked, instead of getting defensive, wait. Don't, you know, wait. Stand your ground, but don't react. And try to hear them out with an open mind and diplomacy. Um, be authentic. Be transparent. Express yourself openly and honestly. Um, do not hide behind people pleasing. Be truthful about what your feelings are, what you're thinking. Once you start to make this a habit um, without getting defensive or shifting into people pleasing, this is very powerful and it takes practice and you have to start doing it little by little, standing in your truth. It doesn't mean, you know, feelings are not facts, but you're entitled to your feelings and to openly and honestly and, and authentically express them to another person with calmness and grace. Um, if being, you know, assertive is very difficult for you, because a lot of times it is, if you came from trauma, if you had abuse, it may be very scary for you to be assertive, but you can start doing it little by little stand up for yourself. If you're being mistreated, then you can st you can st start by saying, Hey, that's, that's not okay with me. Or why did you do this this way? This bothers me. Start telling your truth. Don't hold it inside, stuff it, um, or act passive aggressively later. Get to your truth. And in order to know your truth, you've got to find out what your truth is. So it's really bothering you. Um, you know, if you're being easygoing and people pleasing, it can be very dishonest because you're not being honest about how you really feel. So find the courage to face your truth, figure out what it is, and start to tell your truth. Um, the more you do this, the more empowered you are going to become. Get clarification before you assume or take a stand or defend yourself uh, or before you react, calmly explain your perspective to the person and calmly listen to their response. Um, try your best to avoid being combative with until you fully understand where the person is coming from because you have to remember two different people have two different brains two different emotional lives two different experiences and quite often we're all we're, we're all constantly misunderstanding each other so it's very important for you to get clarification before you jump on the defensive and the more you speak your truth, the easier it gets. The more you stand up for yourself and you don't acquiesce to things that you don't agree with, then the easier it's going to get for you. Be thoughtful and deliberate. It may be tempting to slip into passive aggressive behaviors or people pleasing behaviors, but try to avoid this. Try to be deliberate instead. Tell the person how you are feeling instead and give them the space to listen to you and to address your concerns and then calmly listen as they are addressing your concerns. Um, again, be straightforward, be authentic. Uh, Protect your time. Your time is a precious commodity and not everybody has the right to your time or your energy. Say no when you need to say no. Don't let obligations or people pleasing or people's agendas dictate to you how you spend your time. Let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. No one has the right to invalidate you. Only you do. Only you can invalidate yourself. They don't get to invalidate yourself. You are in complete ownership of your feelings, your actions, your beliefs, and your opinions. You do not need outside validation to believe in yourself. 
Um, learning how to set boundaries and stand up for yourself, it takes practice and it's not an easy thing, especially if you grew up in a boundaryless family or to overly boundary rigid family. It takes a lot of practice, but the more you practice setting these boundaries, standing in your truth, being authentic, then the more self-esteem you're going to develop. And this is your one life, as far as I know. Well, I think there's another life, but this is the life that we know right now, right? So take radical personal responsibility for everything that happens to you, for your choices, for your behaviors. When you start to do this, this is incredibly empowering. Happiness is an inch inside job. Nobody else is in charge of your happiness. They don't get to dictate whether you're happy or not. This is your job to figure out what's going to make you happy, to be your true self, to be your authentic self, to start setting healthy boundaries, to set, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. And the more you do this, again, the healthier your self esteem is going to start to develop, the more you're going to start feeling empowered and you're not going to need to hide behind some mask of people pleasing or accommodating when you are in and getting resentful later, getting resentful or being passive aggressive later. So try your best to be direct, to be truthful, to be authentic, to find out what your truth is. Sometimes if you're a codependent or a people pleaser, you don't even know what your truth is because you have been people pleasing your whole life and you are giving in to somebody else who is in some way you think more powerful than you or you don't want to rock the boat. No, it's not honest. You're not being honest. So when you speak your truth, when you are authentic with kindness and respect and decency, again, the higher your self-esteem is going to become. And some people are not going to like it. If you set boundaries, especially if you're dealing with a narcissist, they are not going to like it. When you tell them no, they are not going to like it. And that's okay. Stand in your truth. Um, the people that are healthy and that are kind and that are self-aware are going to respect your boundaries. Now, keep in mind, if you've been doing this dance for a long time where you've been accommodating and people pleasing and doing whatever somebody else wants, and then you start setting boundary, boundaries with that person, initially they may react not very well because they're not used to it. It's you've changed the dance moves, right? And so sometimes there may be some pushback, but if you just stick to your ground, you stick to your boundaries, you stick to being authentic, you stop the people pleasing, you stop the passive aggressive behaviors, and you just stay with your authenticity and your truth, then the right people who are supposed to be in your life, who are respecters of boundaries, will respect your boundaries. And of course, you know, you've got to also respect other people's boundaries. If they set boundaries with you, then you, you know, you're not to, it's, you're not supposed to push on them. You're supposed to respect them. You're not supposed to manipulate to get your needs met. We shouldn't have to manipulate to get our needs met. We should be able to be direct, honest, and authentic. Now, not everyone is going to take well to that. And again, if you're with somebody toxic, they may try to manipulate around your boundaries or tell you that you don't have the right to feel the way you feel, or they may try to invalidate your feelings. But if you're finding that, and if you're finding yourself squashing up against somebody who's toxic like that, then you have the right to exit those relationships and to not have those people in your inner circle. So I hope this is helpful and empowering for you. Um, but you can do it. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And of course, you're like a toddler in the beginning. It's like you're you're learning how to walk and you're going to fall a bunch and that's okay. Just keep doing it and it's going to get easier and easier and easier the more authentic and truthful and honest and direct that you become. Thanks so much. Have a great day.